parameters. But when we looked at upgrading it, um, what we ended up looking at was the BTE primus instead. Signed our uh, uh, physiotherapist who teaches here at the university in our sports medicine uh, courses, had a look at this system as well, and we thought, well, this actually gives us a little bit more flexibility nowadays than the old dynamometers. For those of you that have used these systems before, they are very much, the, much a fixed track. So you're looking at a knee joint, you would isolate that, lock the person in position, and then they would extend and flex the knee. Okay, the, 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 sort of the, the argument against that is how functional is that in terms of how we move around. So when we walk, you know, just walking backwards and forwards, I'm not just flexing and extending the knee, I'm abducting and adducting the leg, I'm internally and externally rotating. So it's much more three-dimensional in movement. And that's what this gives us a bit more scope to do. Now, we are going to do some sort of two-dimensional uh, movements on it, but it also has the capability to attach a cable system to it, which gives a bit more usefulness to be able to do much more dynamic sports-related activities as well. For those of, when, when you've come in, if you've had a look around the unit, you'll see we've got uh, things like cricket balls and softballs attached to it as well. So you can tell it's an American product because we've got the softballs on there. Um, but these things can attach to the cable and then you can look at sort of throwing motions, you can look at even catching motions as well. Because the system works very similar to the dynamometers in that we can work concentrically but we can also work eccentrically as well. So we're going to demonstrate that. Again, for those that aren't uh, sort of um, or fair with the sort of language we're using here, Concentric movement is when I lift a weight up and the muscle shorten. So I'm picking a weight up and lifting it. Eccentrically is when that weight is pushing against me and my muscle lengthens against it as well. Okay? So we're looking at the two modes of operation with this. There's a lot of research which has been going on for decades as to which is the best way to train. Is concentrics the way to go or is eccentrics the way to go? Both have their proponents. The theory behind eccentrics is that it, it can overload the muscle a lot more, does a bit more damage to the muscle, but then the muscle recovers and grows stronger from that eccentric training. So that can be quite useful for us. But it's very difficult to do with normal free weights, and we have all the, the S&C stuff with the, the Olympic bars over in the corner there. But what you can do is lift a weight concentrically, but you're lowering that same exact same weight eccentrically. One of the benefits of this system is that it allows us to concentrically lift a certain weight, but then we can overload the eccentrics as well, so we can tell it to put a bit more resistance into the eccentric side of it as well. 